Today, I will be showing you how to wake a remote computer up on LAN. First of all, work on LAN enables you to boot another computer from a remote location. So this is very, very important for network administrators. If you have like 100, 200 computers, you need it to boot, take a file, get a system log, application log, run some operating system, do a few things, run some commands on, on the command prompt. You don't want to go all the way down from 10th floor all the way to the 4th floor, back and forth. All you need to do is to launch an application called Wake Online, put the MAC address of the computer and the IP address of the computer and some settings. You need to tweak some settings in the computer. So that settings is what I'm about to show you now. That way, your work can be easy. Everybody's happy. OK, there are a few things that needs to be done first. It is expected that your computer has its Wake Online tab in, in your BIOS already checked. I'm using an HP computer. If I press my power button and I press my escape key, it takes me to the BIOS settings. I do not know how your computer works. It might be Sony, it might be Dell, it might be Lenovo, it might be a F2, it might be a F10. For my computer, it's different. So figure out to get into the BIOS. Go to the device configuration. In my computer, is device configuration. There, I see Wake Online. Check the box. Make sure it's checked. Once the box is checked, press the F10 key. I think that's a general key. Press the F10 key and save the settings. Now, I have a computer already sitting down in the living room right there in that corner. That's right. So right here is the computer. Right here is the computer that I'm trying to wake, OK? TV is currently down. Nobody's there. So let me just show you briefly how the device works, how the application works. Now, this is the Wake Online application. Once I click it, put it this way, I know the MAC address for this computer. I will click a drop down, put a MAC address in. I know the IP address of this computer. Once I click on Wake Online, this is how the application works. It sends a magic Wake Online packet to this computer. I click OK. So you will see how this computer will boot. You see? You see how the laptop is booting up? You see how the laptop is booting up right now? That is how it works. Now imagine you are an administrator working in a very big, in a very big facility somewhere, and you are able to put a computer remotely, just like you went there to press the power button. How easy would your life become? Turn is up. Once the computer is up, it's going to tell you 191.61.27 is up. If it's not, it's going to keep trying to come up. So I'm going to close this for a moment. So now all I need to do is this is a Windows 10 computer. It should work on any version of Windows by just typing settings. Once you type settings, it should bring out your settings icon. It might be different from mine, but you just click on settings. Then you click on the network administrator, working in an enterprise environment. Most of the time, 90% of the time, all the computers that people use when they come to job every day is connected to a physical cable through your walls, through your ceiling, to a patch panel, terminated in front RG45 to a physical switch for security, for efficiency. So it's expected that in an enterprise environment, you will have cables connected through your patch panel all the way to your desk, and this should work for you in that environment. And if you have a house where you decided to do a lot of wiring and have all your computers connected to the internet, that way they have really good connectivity, this will also work for you. Once you come to settings, let me do this again. Once you click here and type in settings, this will bring you here. And we're not interested in all this. We're interested in the network and internet because then you click on the internet here. It's going to give you all this information. The only reason we are here is for you to have the MAC address. The location is called Wake Online by SolarWinds. Type in the MAC address. 
of the computer you want to work online and type in the IP address like this 172.160.0.1 if that's it and you click on work online it's going to bring this on and says work online packet has been sent to that exist if this computer exists it will automatically connect to it and power it on so but because this is just a demo and this computer doesn't exist so still trying to look for it so those are the that's the settings you need to tweak on that so now you go to start and type in device manager go to device manager when you get to device manager you go to your network tab here you want to make sure that the PCIe for your computer might be different from my computer. This is the controller for my LAN. So I right click on it, I click on properties. When it gets you to this page, you go to the power management. Usually this is like this, it's not checked because I have Wake on LAN configured, that's why it checks. So this is how you will find it. So you click on allow device to Wake on LAN, and this is going to be like this. And you say, I'll only allow magic pocket. So you click on that, and you click OK. Uh, before I click OK, then you can go to Advanced. From Power Management, configure this, then come to Advanced. When you click on Advanced, you scroll down and come to Wake on Magic Packet. Sometimes it might be disabled. Make sure you enable it. Wake on Magic Packet is in Advanced, then you click OK. When you click OK on there, we have nothing to do with the wireless card because you can't wake online on wireless, at least for now. Did a few research on that. So you close this tab. Once you close this tab, that's when you launch your application, put the MAC address, put the computer you're trying to wake IP address, and you click on wake on. It's gonna give you this dialog saying, the packet has been sent to the computer with this MAC address, and it is trying to monitor it. I will appreciate if you click on like on it, that way we can get a little more you know, people coming to see what we do on our channels. What I'm trying to do basically is to make sure that I reach a lot of people who do not have access to get all this, you know, knowledge about IT and IT stuff. I mean, you, you have your job, you have your own expertise, your area of perfection. I don't expect you to know how to configure Wake Online or how to tweak a few things, but my job is to make it available on my, you know, on my channel. That way, from time to time, if you see, you think there's something you need, in IT, you can just come there, see if I already have it uploaded. If there's something you need, you can type it there like a question. If I see it, I will do a research and give it back to you. Thank you so much for your time. Please do click like on our channel. Thank you.